Heidi's Head is a new Shutter original horror film that I've been hearing a ton about coming out of festivals and a bunch of people talking about it online saying it was really scary comparing it to this year's Oddity, which is one of the scariest films, scariest films I've seen in years. And I was very excited for Daddy's Head because of all this hype, but did it live up to all that hype and did it really send chills down my spine? A boy and his stepmother fear for their safety after an eerie creature resembling the boy's recently deceased father visits them. So let's get right into the positives. The performances in Daddy's Head are pretty top notch for the most part anyway. The young boy here who is played by, let me see, Rupert Turnbull is very good. Also, Julia Brown, I think, does a very good job playing the stepmother. Now, a lot of people have been comparing this to The Babadook. I'm not going to give any serious spoilers right here. The IMDb synopsis already tells you that the father recently died, but He's seeing that a lot of people are comparing this to The Babadook. That probably gives you a general idea of the type of film that this is going to be. Daddy's Head is shot very well, and it's one of those more modern type films where sometimes oh, you'll hear me complain about this on my channel where it's shot very beautifully. I really enjoyed looking at it, but I don't feel like it's shot with intention. If that makes sense. A lot of the intentions of the shots feel like they are meant to look pretty and just try to slowly push in and slowly push in to try to create some tension and atmosphere and it works okay but i don't feel like it's it's so thoughtfully shot with just uh you know intention behind every corner and every shadow trying to build atmosphere trying to build tone it's more trying to look really pretty and move the story along the story going on here i ultimately did enjoy for the most part daddy's head as i mentioned is compared to the babadook so in that you've got again this kind of like boy and his mom type story although this is a different one i really enjoyed how this took more of a approach with the stepmom and how the boy and his stepmom didn't have such a tight relationship to begin with. So you've got this multiplying layers of different problems. The house that they're not super comfortable in, as well as being a stepmom who's not super close with the boy. And so you've got this idea of not having your father, but also this idea of being a stepmom to a child and being responsible for them all of a sudden when the father dies. So there's a lot of layers there. I don't feel like it dove into any of them as much as I would have liked them to. I don't feel like this film works nearly as well like The Babadook in a multi-layered type of film. In other words, being a scary horror picture, but also being a sort of metaphor for the things that are going on in the film. And I, this one tries to do it, but doesn't tackle it quite as well. Although Ultimately, as I mentioned, I do enjoy the story and I liked the layers they put here with, again, the stepmom who already doesn't have her stuff together to now being responsible for this young boy who she doesn't really get along with super well. There also are some pretty good scares here in Daddy's Head. However, unfortunately, this is not the super intense, scary film that I was promised to going into this. Oddity for me, as I mentioned, fully delivered. Loved that experience. This one had some minor uncomfortable moments and it built up some tension, but I'll get into my negatives in a second for why they don't fully come through. However, as I said, I do think there are some good scares in here. Some minor ones that won't last with you forever. Like they're not going to stick in your mind for a super long time, but there also is a really cool creature design in here. Some of it doesn't look top notch all the time, but when you see it and what you see, the creature design is really cool here. It's very unique, very interesting. There's a little bit of lore that's going on behind the scenes, some stuff that's happening in the woods, something that's built. And so there's some story elements that are clearly going on, but aren't fully like developed. And I don't feel like they need to be so, but there's a definitely a cool, as I said, Creature design story going on here, some lore that they dive into. Let's go into negatives real quick. And ultimately, I just don't feel like Daddy's Head went far enough. I feel like it took a really long time to get to the scares and to show the creature. And I'm never a big advocate for just showing the creature full on. However, I almost feel like they could have showed more of the creature in certain parts rather than doing the thing that movies do all the time where it's like night, see a piece, day, 
night, see more, day, night, day, night, day, night, day, night, day. I would have rather seen this take place over a few nights and progressively just seen way more and more stuff happen in one night rather than be this progression of every single night, the same thing, and every single day, the same thing until we see more. I also didn't quite buy why the boy didn't go into the thing in the woods. And I'm not going into spoilers really right now, but I just, they try to sell it as he believes that this is his father. And again, this looks like it's, it's, it's in the IMDb, so it's not really a spoiler, but it looks like his father. And so there's definitely a, the movie's trying to say, hey, the boy thinks this might be him, but he doesn't fully like hop on board. And I feel like it's just to keep the movie going because if he did, movie be over, but I don't understand why he didn't. But then he's like, there wasn't enough of him questioning things for me. He just seemed to like buy it, but then not fully get engaged with it. So I was kind of confused with that. The rules of this creature were a little underdeveloped for me also. And again, I don't need you to explain everything to me in a film, but I do kind of need a little bit more of motive and origin, possibly something to tie it together and some sort of like, how does it get into the house? How does it get out of the house? What kills it? Is it afraid of sun? Does it only come out at night? Like a little bit more explanation would be good, I think. The ending of the film also where it kind of ties things up and this is where it touches that Babadook-esque comparisons again and it just doesn't fully hit home. You've got this strained relationship with the stepmother and the son and you kind of have this moment where they could or could not work out things or the stepmother could just bail and the son could be left alone. You've got this struggle and then you've got this resolution at the end that feels kind of like half cooked and didn't really buy their relationship. And I bought them in their straining relationship. I thought that was pretty well developed, but the sort of can stay and make the right decision or can leave and leave this boy alone felt kind of rushed, didn't quite work for me at the end. Ultimately, the Ice Head was an enjoyable watch. I had a good time with it. There are some scares here, but it's very forgettable. To me, it just didn't have that lasting impact. I, as I kind of mentioned with the cinematography, I just didn't feel like it had the love and the care and attention into every detail of the film to make it feel cohesive. It felt like it was trying to shoot, be shot beautifully but also kind of be like in the woods, but then have this like modern house and then have these like creepy scares, but then also have this like sort of mental like collapsing of this woman's mind and, and the pressure of being a mother. And it just, the things didn't like, it didn't feel cohesive enough. It didn't really come together in the end for me. And unfortunately I, I just kind of already forgot about it. It didn't stick with me long enough to really want to even recommend it. I enjoyed it more, I think, after I watched it than when days had gone by and the more I think about it. Unfortunately, while, as I mentioned, I had a good time with it, time has shown it didn't quite have the legs to stand on. So ultimately, if you're thinking about checking out Daddy's Head, I do think it's worth watching. There are definitely some cool and creative, unique things to this film that I haven't seen in other films worth checking out but i would lower your expectations personally i don't think it quite delivered on the scares that were promised that's my review of daddy's head let me know what you thought of the film down below or if you're going to check it out and thank you for watching take care money scared on a big bad wolf i never see the silver line and only see the gold i don't speak in caps dog everything bold and i put that on myself because it's a life that i done chose i said come through you can see me on the west side